In 2012, Emmanuel College celebrates its 140th anniversary. It's 140 years since Mother Philomene Maguire led a group of eight Sisters of Mercy on a sea voyage of four months from Ireland to Warrnambool to open a school. The Sisters accepted the invitation from Bishop Gould, who was keen to set up Catholic education in the area. The sisters wasted no time, and on March 1st, 1872, the Warrnambool Examiner advertised Whiten House, an eight-roomed stone dwelling with ten acres of land, including a vineyard, orchard and paddock. A few weeks later, the sisters announced the opening of a boarding school for young ladies at the Convent of Mercy, Whiten. Emmanuel College, though not yet known by that name, was born. The sisters worked hard and enjoyed the support of families in the local community who volunteered many hours of labour in gardening, building and maintaining the school they were so proud of. In 1902, Brother Egan arrived in Warrnambool after being instructed only days earlier to establish a brother's community and school. Again, the Catholic community responded generously with time and donations and the school opened with 102 boys. In 1911, the school moved to Canterbury Road and for the next 80 years, the school was known as the Brothers or CBC. 1991 began a new era and CBC became Emmanuel College, the school that welcomes you today. Emmanuel College has educated thousands of young people over the course of its history. Our past students, our alumni, all have great stories to tell. Amongst them, there are thousands of stories of achievement, service and sacrifice. And it is our role to preserve and tell some of these stories to inspire current and future generations of Emmanuel College students. Our inspiring alumni are Rosalie Boyce, Shane Howard, Michelle Ferris, Dr. Kevin Ryan, Brother Frank O'Shea, Sister Natalie Houlihan, Dave Hughes, Dr. Barry O'Dwyer, Brendan Keeler, Catherine Ryan, Jonathan Brown, Sean Ryan, Sister Adele Howard, Professor Colin Ferguson, and Karen Smith. To this group, we now welcome the 2012 Emmanuel College aspiring alumni. David Atkinson graduated from CBC in 1957 and, after completing teacher training, began a 37-year career with the Education Department as a primary school teacher. Over the years, he taught in a number of district schools and was principal of Merivale Primary School. In 1979, David was seconded to the Defence Department and appointed to the Royal Australian Air Force School in Penang, Malaysia, where he was deputy principal. However, it's David's outstanding contribution to his community that inspires. While teaching in Ballarat, David was president of a local football league and organiser of the Ballarat State School Athletics Carnivals. Throughout those years, he also maintained a strong connection with the Warrnambool Surf Life Saving Club. He has served as district supervisor for surf life saving in southwest Victoria and is a life member of the Warrnambool Club. In 1987, David successfully stood for election to the Warrnambool City Council, the beginning of a 21-year involvement in local government. In 1990, David was elected Mayor, an appointment that was to be repeated six more times during his years as a councillor. David represented the city at the signing of the Sister City Agreement with Mura Japan and was appointed a Commissioner for Local Government during the years of the major local government restructures. Along with his local government and sporting club involvements, David has volunteered his time to organisations such as Lindock, the Southwest Community Road Safety Council, the Victorian Community Road Safety Alliance, the Warrnambool Cemetery Trust, Apex and the Rotary Club of Warrnambool East, along with serving as a bail justice, an honorary probation officer and a justice of the peace. In recognition of his services to local government, David was awarded an Order of Australia for his services to the community of Warrnambool. We recognise David Atkinson as an outstanding contributor to his local community. Georgie Coughlin is a member of the Emmanuel College class of 1993. Growing up on her parents' farm, she was a state-level competitor in equestrian events. At Monash University, Georgie completed a Bachelor of Science majoring in Pharmacology and Zoology and a Graduate Diploma of Education and went on to teach a secondary college. Georgie was the coordinator of various year levels and taught Biology, Science and Forensic Science to Year 11 and 12 students. However, Georgie had always had a strong interest in the performing arts and is an accomplished and classically trained singer. 
Leaving the teaching profession, Georgie performed in her own one-woman show and in major stage productions, including We Will Rock You and Carousel, as well as being a regular performer in Carols by Candlelight. Georgie also developed an interest in journalism and, along with being a news reporter, has been a presenter, co-writer and producer on various television shows and is a Logie winner. Throughout her career, Georgie has volunteered her time for a number of causes, including the Life's Little Treasures Foundation, the Ballarat Cancer Research Centre and as an ambassador for Vision Australia. With her variety and depth of experience in media, journalism, travel, entertainment, science, education and the performing arts, Georgie is one of the most well-rounded presenters in the industry and the breadth of her career will inspire many. Judith Earls was a member of the class of 1965 when it was quite uncommon for Wannabal girls to go on to tertiary study. Many girls left school at the age of 14 to work at Fletcher Jones and other local businesses, while some continued to the equivalent of year 11 with the aim of becoming nurses or teachers. Judith took a different route. After winning a Commonwealth scholarship, she gained entry to the School of Law at the University of Melbourne, which accepted only around 300 students, only one in six of whom were women. After university, Judith commenced at Phillips Fox and Maisel, where she remained for the whole of her career. Finding no prejudice against women at that firm, in 1977 she became its first woman partner and remained the only woman partner for 17 years. The firm, due to mergers and amalgamations, grew from 10 lawyers to become one of Australia's largest firms and is now part of a worldwide group called DLA Piper. Judith gained broad experience as a commercial lawyer with expertise in corporate governance, due diligence, mergers and acquisitions, business and corporate law. During her career, Judith advised the Ministry of Construction in Hanoi, Vietnam in the preservation of the French architectural heritage area and was joint lead partner in the $4 billion sale of the Loi Yang power station. A mentor to young lawyers, Judith is also on the board of management of Mind Australia, an organisation that provides services to people seeking support for their mental health. An inspiration to young women, Judith Earls is welcomed to the inspiring alumni. Sergeant Sean Lanigan is a member of the Emmanuel College class of 1991. Sean represented the college in football, athletics, basketball and badminton and went on to a career in hospitality. In 2000, Sean decided a change was in order and he enlisted in the Australian Army as a rifleman. Sean was deployed to East Timor as part of a United Nations-led peacekeeping mission in 2001 and also served in the Solomon Islands. By 2005, Sean had been promoted to the position of Corporal and Sniper Team Leader. After studying at the Defence Force School of Languages, Sean graduated with an advanced diploma in the Thai language. After deployment to East Timor and Iraq, Sean was promoted to the rank of Sergeant and in 2010 he deployed to Afghanistan in what was to be the most defining time of his career. It came with amazing challenges, working in an extreme terrain with a very high enemy threat. During Sean's eight months in Afghanistan, the Australian Army received its highest number of casualties since the Vietnam War. As part of the 2012 Australia Day Honours List, Sean Lanigan was awarded the Medal for Gallantry for Courage Under Fire in Hazardous Circumstances. He bravely led a frontal assault under heavy enemy fire to clear the enemy from their entrenched position with disregard to his own safety in order to defeat the enemy's counter-attacks. Sean has also received many other medals and citations. His career achievements and his bravery are an inspiration. Felicity Mellican is a member of the class of 1983. After leaving school, Felicity obtained a Bachelor of Business and a Graduate Diploma of Education. Following six years at a Melbourne accounting firm, Felicity returned to Warrnambool to complete further study and then joined Sinclair Wilson as an accountant. In 2001, Felicity was asked to join the partnership, becoming the first female partner of the firm. Felicity is proud that all of her education was undertaken in Warrnambool and in a busy career spanning 25 years, Felicity has given generously in return to the Warrnambool community through volunteering her time and expertise to local organisations over many years. Felicity's committee and board involvements include Heatherly Homes, Shipwreck Coast Tourism, Wunta, Southwest Healthcare, Southwest Institute of TAFE and 10 years on the Emmanuel College Board of Management. The not-for-profit sector 
sector is a significant and extremely important part of our community and Felicity's dedication and generosity has made a difference to the lives of many. Felicity personifies the Emmanuel College mission to empower our students to serve and act with compassion and justice as members of church, local and global communities. A member of the class of 1971, Michael Turner was an accomplished athlete, winning the college athletics championships in each year level and representing the college at the state championships. After great success in local football, in 1974 Michael followed in the footsteps of his father Leo and played for the Geelong Football Club. During his 15-year career with the club, Michael also completed a diploma in primary teaching and enjoyed a 17-year teaching career. Michael played 250 games for Geelong and represented Victoria in 12 State of Origin games. He was an All-Australian, the Geelong club captain and a leading goal kicker. Michael was selected in the Geelong Football Club Team of the Century as a wingman, alongside his father Leo, the only father and son combination in AFL history to do so. After his playing career at Geelong, Michael coached Werribee in the VFA, along with working as a media commentator and a manager to AFL players such as Billy Brownless, Barry Stoneham, Robert Scott and Sean Simpson. Michael has been region manager for the Geelong Falcons for 18 years. In this time, the club has become the number one club in Australia when it comes to providing players to the AFL and in all key performance areas. Under Michael's leadership, the club has produced some of the superstars of the AFL, Scarlett, Ling, Bartel, Ablett and Dangerfield, to name a few. Michael Turner is welcome to the Emmanuel College Inspiring Alumni for Achievement in the category of sport. Our inspiring alumni for 2012 have gone above and beyond in demonstrating to our students that through hard work and commitment, they too can achieve their dreams and make a difference in their community.